Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hitting that subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing and means so much to me, so I hope you'll help me out. Today is just a little unboxing. I got my Christmas animation pieces from Louis Vuitton. So I did a video around all the different pieces that are being released as part of that Christmas animation series and I will link that down below in case you missed it. Um, and I got three pieces this year. So there are collections I have within my bigger collection that I add to um, constantly and the all three of these pieces fit within those collections. So I couldn't not get them. Um, I, I could definitely not get them, but it would, it would hurt my heart to not have them and know that they were out there and I did actually want them. Um, I don't necessarily buy every single one of these that come out, but if they are at all pieces that speak to me, then I need to get them. And I will admit that the Christmas animations are generally something that I do buy from year in and year out. So there's three little boxes and my favorite, fabulous sales associate, Peter sent me um, one of the nice little um, cards with a note on it and it's addressed to Mademoiselle Lux. That would be me. <laughs> um, and it's the um, little vid card that they always write on. I won't read you his message, but he always writes something cute on there for me. Um, and look, I have a receipt so I can tell you how much these things cost. Not something that I will always do. Um, and the answer is not cheap um, because nothing is. So let's make sure I've got them all, yep, all there ready to go. I don't know what you are. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> there was something else that came at the same time, which is in a different unboxing. All right, so the three pieces. If you know my collection at all, you know what's in these. So nobody's going to be surprised. So let's open them and have a look and hope that they're as cute in person as they were in the photos. So the first one, little box. And dust bag. And then we open it up. Haven't seen these in person. I have not opened them. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, you know what? I didn't know how I felt about these in the pictures and if I was going to like them, but they're actually very, very cute. And I love the fact that they're double sided. Oh. I'm just going to drop it. Um, okay, so <laughs> this is Snow Show, I want to say, from the Snow Show range. So there's Viv rolling a snowboard, a snowball, a snowball, uh, and a little LV snowflake up there. And then if we turn it over, we have a cute little polar bear on this side. So double sided. That is very cute. And then, oh, pretty interior. This did not show up in the photos as well as it does in person. Look at how pretty that color is. I really love that. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then I don't know if I'll be able to get close enough. There's a little Viv printed inside. Hopefully that shows up a little bit. There is a little Viv in there, which is a cute little touch. So, Oh my goodness, I love that interior color. Oh my goodness, that's so my color after pink. Uh, and then of course we have the lobster class. So the product code on this one is there for you. And the clays in these Christmas animations were $720. Not cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but what is but I'm, I'm loving the two-sided. I'm going to have to take that off to do this up. Oh, that's annoying. I understand what they're doing with these tags now and that they're important to keep, but they are a pain to get on and off. All right, you're a later problem. Uh, so that's the first one that I got. And then the second box is exactly the same size, which probably tells you what's in it. And... Let's open it up and get it out of the dust bag. 
Oh, Viv, you're so cute. Oh, I severely underrated these. They are so cute. So we have Viv as Santa in a cookie, Fleur de Lis, which is broken. And if we turn it over, we have a candy cane lollipop. Oh, so cute. And then this is from the candy factory range, candy cane factory, something like that. And then this one is bright red on the interior, which makes perfect sense. And once again, there is a little Viv printed in there in gold, but it's very hard to see on the red. I've got to say it shows up much better on the blue. But, oh, little, little Santa Viv is very cute. Look at her. Oh, I'm sorry. I underrated you, all of you. <laughs> um, and then the product code on this one is that for anyone who wants it. And obviously this is also $720. So clays are clearly something that I collect. I have many clays and I continue to collect them. Um, they haven't always done clays in Christmas animations. It's not often. I do have... Where's the one here? So last year we had the summer uh, Christmas animation in the clay. And is that the only one they've done? I feel like it is. I don't think they've done the cities. No. So I think that was the first time we saw a clay. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong because I don't have any of the other ones. Oh, no, I do. Hang on. And winter. Sorry, they did summer and winter last year. So there were clays last year, but I feel like when they've done the cities, we haven't had clays. Although, hang on. No, Paris. <laughs> I'm wrong. There's Paris. See, they're the wrong way around in my drawer, which is always a problem. All right, so previous they've done the Paris clay, and then last year they did both the summer and the winter in the clays. This year they did both designs in the clays. I think they've realized that the clays are an easy sale. Just because they're, and dare I use this word to describe anything at Louis Vuitton, because they're cheap. They're not cheap, but they are on the cheaper side of things that you can buy from Louis Vuitton. All right, last piece, slightly bigger box. Anyone want to guess what's in it? I'm sure you already know. And oh. we have a bigger dust bag and we have the mini pochette also in the candy factory. Different design. Look, there's Viv in hot cocoa and a uh, little lolly at the top there and if I spin it around we have candy canes oh I do love that although they are the same range so these are both the candy factory design they are actually different designs they actually went to a lot of work this year to create lots of different designs instead of just rolling it out oh hello oh I love you too look little zip pull is a Viv. Hello Viv. That was a nice touch too. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't, wasn't overly excited about you now because you're great. <laughs> um, and then look, we've got a little um, tab in there sewn in and it's got the little Viv head. You know what? I severely underrated these this year and they put a lot of work into it. Good job, Louis Vuitton. I mean, I do love the cities and I miss the cities, but in terms of a Christmas design, this is a true Christmas design. Last year with the summer and the winter, it really didn't have a Christmas feel and technically speaking, none of the cities had a Christmas feel as well. I think this might be the first Christmas animation that has truly been Christmas. So... Good job. I'm really impressed with these. I love the attention to detail with the little Viv head zip pull. I love that they are all different. Yeah, good job, Louis Vuitton. I am actually really impressed with this year's ones. It's like surprisingly so. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I am surprised by how impressed I am. This is the product code for the mini pochette. And the mini pochette was more expensive, of course. It was $1,340. So, yes expensive um so yeah i'm 
I'm happy to see a true Christmas collection from Louis Vuitton, like where Christmas is actually a thing, because I can't remember another one that they've ever done. Um, and I am impressed to see that the pieces have all been different in their designs. Um, I guess the only possible criticism I can come up with, which is a tiny one, is that they were all monogram canvas. Like they didn't do any Demier Abine or any Demier Azure. It was all monogram. I'm fine with that because I love monogram, but I can see that if you loved a different canvas, you didn't get it this year. But good job, Louis Vuitton. Good attention to detail. Good work actually giving us a Christmas animation Christmas collection instead of just a here's Viv and we're releasing it for Christmas. It's a true Christmas collection. It might cut down on the people's thought process in using it because do you want to use your Christmas pieces outside of Christmas? I will. I don't care. Um, but still, it's nice to have a true Christmas collection and to see so many different designs in the, what they did. So I'm heavily impressed. Good job, Louis Vuitton. Good work. So they're the three pieces I got from Louis Vuitton's Christmas collection this year. So the two clays and the mini pochette. I have a mini pochette collection. I have a clay collection. So they fit in nicely with that. Um, and yeah, we'll see if they pivot again next year. If we go back to cities, if we do a different design. I'm fine with them doing something like this every year. I love the fact that it's a true Christmas collection. They are doing a New York capsule collection and I covered that in my um, video about what was coming as well, which is linked down below. Um, and that is out in mid November. And I do want two pieces from that, but we're still waiting to see if that's something that I have to get through the US and have sent to me via a friend wink, wink, nudge, nudge, friends, um, or if I can get it here in Australia. My initial understanding was that it was going to be a New York exclusive, but it could be a US exclusive, like all of US, or they could just release it anywhere. Goodness only knows what Louis Vuitton will decide to do last minute. It is showing up in the uh, Australia online for sales associates to look at, but until it becomes orderable, which is usually two weeks before its release date, um, we won't know what we have to do with that. But either way, there are two pieces from that that I do want. So I will show you those if and when I can get them. If you want pieces from the um, Christmas animation collection, please, please, please go get involved right now. I know that the clays, there were no spare um, stock of clays when they very first came in, but they might have arrived now at Sydney. Um, but I know that everything that came in in the initial shipment was pre-ordered by clients. So if you want pieces from this collection, please make contact with customer service or a client advisor. Um, my client advisor is always linked down below for you guys in case you want to make contact with him and he can help. Um, but yeah, this, this collection is more impressive than I thought it was going to be. So that was a nice surprise for me when I was unboxing them. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy that they're Christmassy. Tell me what you think of them down below. Do you prefer the ones we've seen previously? Did you have a favorite previous collection? Do you not like the Christmas or do you like that they're actually doing Christmas for Christmas this year? You let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I upload videos, which is usually twice a week. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection and my day-to-day -day life. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.